So you know how in last video I talked about how uh, they're actively pushing for the digital dollar right now and that they're releasing a test run of it and that uh, it's connected to the same kinds of people who were connected to the FIDO Alliance and the ID2020 project and all that sort of thing and how that is going to be connected to your online identity. Um, well, uh, concerning... Uh, additional fact that I figured I should go over is um, that they're using children and keeping children safe as a way to muscle through legislation that would basically require ID verification in order to use um, social media and various other aspects of the internet, or at least censor certain content uh, in, in an attempt to prevent kids from accessing something which harms them. So let's read this article from the EFF uh, about how the Kids Online Safety Act would let the government control what young people see online uh, to find out more about this program. Um, and before I get into this, this is brought to you by Presearch, a free blockchain-based and sensor-resistant privacy-forward search engine. You can sign up for free at the uh, link in the description, brought to you by Liberty Professionals. If you need uh, security uh, consulting in your home, feel free to hit him up. And it's also brought to you by Brushfire2048, um, a sequel to a book uh, written by a guy who has supported my content before. So all of those things are in the description, and if you want to support me, you can use those or any of the other things in the description as well. Um, but all that being said, the Kids Online Safety Act would let the government control what young people see online. And uh, this article on EFF goes into the fact that the latest version of the Kids Online Safety Act is focused on removing online information that people need to see people of all ages. Letting governments, state or federal, decide what information anyone needs to see is a dangerous endeavor. O on top of that, this bill, supposedly designed to protect our privacy, actually requires tech companies to collect more data on internet users than they already do. EFF has long supported comprehensive privacy protections, but the details matter. KOSA gets the details consistently wrong, and that's why we're calling on members of Congress to oppose this bill. Although KOSA has been revamped since lawmakers introduced it in February and improved slightly, it's still a dangerous bill that presents censorship and surveillance as a solution to some legitimate and some not-so-legitimate issues facing young internet users today. Now, again, for those of you who saw my last video... Uh, you know that I referenced an article where I referenced another article where I wrote about the uh, the sort of attempts to do this before. Use children as a way to block encryption. To basically say that, you know, encryption apps should be heavily regulated and monitored. <laughs> Thus kind of defeating the point. Um, because basically everything should be, like, re regularly and heavily monitored. Uh, including those, uh, to protect my children. So, with that in mind, uh, keep in mind that this has been going on for years. They've been trying this for years. What about the childrening their way into this dystopian nightmare that we call modern fascist U.S.? And keep that in mind when I bring up the bad part of this bill, because it's a doozy, let me tell you. Um... Uh, COSA's chief focus is not to protect young people's privacy. The bill's main aim is to censor a broad swath of speech in response to concerns the young people are spending too much time on social media and too often encountering harmful content. KOSA requires sites to prevent and mitigate mental health disorders, including by the promotion or exacerbation of self-harm, suicide, eating disorders, and substance use disorders. Make no mistake, this is a requirement that platforms censor content. This sweeping set of content restrictions wouldn't just apply to Facebook or Instagram. Platforms covered by COSA include any online platform that connects to the internet and that is used or is reasonably likely to be used by a minor. As we said before, 
This would likely encompass everything from Apple's iMessage and Signal to web browsers, email applications, and VPN software, as well as platforms like Reddit, Facebook, and TikTok, platforms with wildly different user bases and uses, and with hugely varying abilities and expectations to monitor content. A huge number of online services would thus be forced to make a choice over filter to ensure no one encounters content that could be construed as ambiguously harmful or raise the age limit for users to 17. Many platforms may even do both. So, this is what they're doing. They're what about the childrening their way into um, getting your content censored because they could deem it harmful to the children. That, 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 that's, 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 that's pretty fucking scary. Especially since, um, they would, you know, consider doing this sort of thing before considering maybe a legislation that would say you can't be a pedophile on platforms with children. Sort of like the, uh, change.org petition I put out where it said, hey, Twitter, either make a rule against pedophiles existing on your platform or remove the kids. Because maybe you shouldn't have pedophiles around kids, even digitally. Maybe that's a ripe bed for grooming and other forms of uh, child abuse. Huh, who would have thought? Maybe I've been making that point forever, and it's not a matter of the government saying this is the way it needs to be. Uh, people should just do better with platforms they manage. Elon Musk, now's your chance. Now's your chance to prove how different you are by making a rule against pedophiles on your platform. Huh? You're you're the guy you're the head guy now. You're the head guy, Elon Musk. Why don't you make that rule because Jack Dorsey wouldn't and neither would the uh, you know, approved staff at the previously majority owned platform of Awalid bin Talal Al Saud. Why don't you do that now? Uh because, you know, you have the capability, right? You want to stop them pedos, right? Uh, that's your opportunity. You could do that now, Elon Musk. But Elon Musk won't. These platforms won't. They won't do what's necessary on their own. And so instead of that, instead of lawmakers saying you can't be like, you know, a threat to minors yourself, they just say, we've got to, we've got to protect minors' feelings, guys. We've got to protect minors' feelings. Minors' feelings are what's important right now. Uh, instead of, you know, just making it a safer place in general, instead of, hey, parenting your kids better, the state just wants to step in and censor everything. And like, you know, assuming that it's the, the best case scenario, the state is just doing its normal thing of like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be the solution here by increasing our power and control be the solution here by becoming ever more and more of a behemoth right um and the worst case is that they're doing this so that children are even more isolated from any sort of alternate community all while they're already at ever greater levels isolated from their parents which is going to increase their likelihood to actual problems, you know, the, the lockdowns this past several years, these sorts of things have not been good for children, but instead of just letting people parent their own kids, instead of just letting like parents be closer to their kids by ending that productivity gap and paying, paying people what they're worth so that people don't have to work as long in order to pay for their families. Um, and, you know, increasing the amount of, uh, jobs, which would create affordable living circumstances and teaching people skills instead of, you know, um, f fucking philosophy in college, because your philosophy should be something that you discover personally so that it's not spoon fed to you by a government supported institution. If you're going to learn, you should just learn something that could benefit you directly right now. Or, you know, you could pay for it. But, like, the whole the whole thing here is that they have created a society where, 
the common person has been driven out of competition with the state. And where the general vibe is, we'll raise your children. We'll tell them what it's like to be in this world. We'll give them all the tools to adjust to our new normal and the Great Reset. And if you don't like it, we'll relieve you of these children. You'll no longer be able to parent. You'll no longer be able to teach them what you want to teach them. Don't worry. We have this covered. And then they'll teach them to be the passive serfs necessary for the coming dystopia. And as a result, uh, the resistance will be stemmed and eventually extinguished because the new class of kids will have been either raised by compliant parents or just t turned compliant themselves by the state. And kids won't be able to seek alternate information. And then when they're adults, this alternate information would have already been quelled on social media because of things like this, and there'll be adults in an environment where it's increasingly more and more difficult to find the truth that these lying, evil people want to hide, keep censoring, that sort of thing. This is dystopia. This is fascism. And it's all connected to your government ID that they're building right now for you in the blockchain. And, and, and by blockchain, I mean... One that only they can see. You can't. You can't audit this. It's not trustless. It's a one-way fucking mirror. And they are interrogating us all. They're building it now. And they're putting in the infrastructure using what about my children arguments to uh, include and exclude certain content and rig the entire social media game to the benefit of the Empire. Huh. It's almost like we're getting Chinese social credit systems, and they're slowly being implemented right here in the U.S., which is something that I've been saying would happen for many years now. It's almost like that, but... Nah. Couldn't be. Because if that were the case, the solution might not be censorship and letting the state parent your kids. The solution might be realizing that we should all be much more responsible before we even have them, and then have lots of them that we teach the value of freedom to ourselves, instead of letting the government educate our children, so that we slowly regain the ability to have our communities back, and to have the social structure that's supposed to be provided by families back and so that we can slowly regain the ability to smash the fucking state.